Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Cause we already are Addicted to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch of artificial love We just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up well, good morning and welcome to another muscle fishing video. Today I'm with the amputee angler, Ben, who is very kindly skippering us this morning on his boat, Easy Living, the guy who watch channel. will know this boat very, very well. Beautiful day, but what can I say, it is a freezing day. Uh, but we're still out, of course, we are hardcore. Today, the targets are gonna be bream, and then possibly do a little bit of wrecking for a pollock, cod, uh, and maybe some bass. Obviously, the bass is out of season at the moment, so it'll all be returned if we accidentally do catch any. Uh, first port of call cool is possibly to try and get a little bit of bait, uh, possibly for the wrecking later on. So, you're here for the ride. Thank you for joining us, and uh, welcome to an absolute stunning morning here at Brighton on Easy Living Folks, Amity Angler. And I will link this channel below. Please do take uh, a little time to have a little look and uh, see what you think. Right. See you later. Artificial okay, so we're literally first drop, just about to put my gloves on, and we're in some beautiful Joey mackerel. Look at those. They are perfect for a live bait well, bass baits and pollock baits. So we'll keep some of those just for bait today. Uh, not, not too many, but yeah, perfect, perfect little baits. You'll see me sitting down because uh, I did a leg day at the gym two days ago and uh, I've got delayed onset muscle syndrome two days late, which is quite typical with legs. Um, so I'm a little bit more wobbly than I usually am. And the swell today is, uh, is a lot more, um, well not necessarily in the forecast, later on it'll go flatter, but it's quite a bit at the moment. And uh, we definitely had some fun getting out here. It certainly cleans the bottom of the boat off. So um, yeah, we're gonna try for some bream. We've got a rig out already, just with a little bit of, a bit of squid on. I'll show you the rigs later, but as you know, they're really simple with me and they are literally line and hooks, but um, I'll show you a little bit later on, hopefully with a, a decent result. Right, we're into what uh, our first fish at the new spot. It feels quite nice. Uh, I've only got a four ounce weight on. Um, so I, yeah, it feels quite heavy. Hard to tell on your first go, but it's pulling in some lunges. Might just be a big whiting, but um, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be okay. Coming up a bit too easy for my life at the moment, but... Oh no, he's putting up some fire. What have we got? Whoa! PB girded. Lovely. Not the target species, but I'm made up with that. Get a nice photo of that one. That is... The tub gurnard. Uh, very, very pretty things, beautiful colours on them. And they uh, they use their little, these little things under here to walk along the seabed. Stunning fish, I'll get a nice photo of him. And uh, we'll get him back. Fabulous, I'm really happy with that. Now at the moment we're fishing on the drift. Um, and because of the swell is quite high, you're actually, to fill the bites, you're actually better off to hold the rod and point it towards the swell and keep the rod tip low so that your bait and the weight is pretty much always on the bottom. Because if you've got it fixed for the rod holder, generally speaking, the weight will come come off the seabed and bounce up and down. You still get fish that way, but to be honest with you, hold, holding it low, you're much more likely to keep in contact with the seabed and actually fill the bite. Which might, might be worth mentioning if you're out in some rough stuff. Take it or not. Right, we've just come right over the uh, the reef and we're in straight away. I'm hoping this is going to be target species. It feels quite heavy. And it was a very, very good bite. Hopefully it's the target species of a bream. Let's have a little look. Oh no, it is another tub girders. Another tub girder, not the species we're after, but a very, very pretty one. Aren't they beautiful? Look at those colours. They are stunning, aren't they? 
So not, not exactly what we're after, but to be honest with you, I don't mind catching a few of these. I like them. Absolutely stunning. Let's get that on back. Ben's in as well. Oh, that's a bream, Ben. That feels very bream. <laughs> Feel free, this is where really I should put my rod back down. However, for you guys, we're going to get some content. All the way up, mate. Just as that comes. Oh, God. Oh, I'm starting with that, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. Just key it on, yeah? Yeah, just key it on. Go nothing forward slightly. Yeah, it's a shortage, Jake. Knocking your gear and straight out. Yeah, that'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, it's Supreme. It's Supreme. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Target species. Target species. Oh, no. No, you come off. Oh, it was a no. cracking break. Yes, we I had to just nudge the boat forward because we were coming up to a, um, well, a pile on wind turbine, but we we're into a nice. Nice bream, guys. We're trying. Yeah, this could be a nice one. We're on not heavy gear, actually, I'm quite light gear. So it's good fun, but this feels like a really decent fish. We're making some serious lunges. Whoa. That's a great supreme, isn't it? It's got to be, isn't it? Oh, please don't come off. I've got to see what this is. It's got to be a bream. Two, I think it's a double. It's a double shot. That's a yeah. Get the bream in and sod the pout in. I'll uh, I'll show you. Right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Absolutely. So there we go, target species of the day. Beautiful uh, mid-December uh, black bream. Beautiful. Right, so that's drift number one complete. Um, two bream boarded, uh, one lost just at the side of the boat, which was a nice one. That was one of Ben's. Uh, what, uh, two tub gurnard for myself and also a pouting for myself, a rather large one. Very, very quickly on rigs, it is a weight on the bottom with like blood looped, cut off, just two little hanging bits um, of squid on the end. The rig's on my channel, so um, I'll try and find it. If I remember, I'll tag it in bottom, but it's so simple. It's just half blood loop on a line, snip off, hook on, bam, good go. Right. Let's catch some more. Another fish on. This will be a bream. Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Should be able to just... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he jumped straight out. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Got it. Right. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Another beautiful winter December bream. Let's go again. Yeah, I've got a bite already, yeah. Got a nice couple of bites there already. Under a massive turbine. Oh, I missed him, missed him, missed him. Oh, he's there. I'm too busy looking at that turbine. It's actually quite, um, it's quite, it's quite cool, special, it? actually. Yeah, it's quite cool. There you go. Look, 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 look. It's smack it, smack it. Yes, oh no. Bream. Got a bit of bream, I think. If it's not a bream, it's going to be a very big tough girder. I'm going to go for bream because he's having some head shape. He's not happy. Oh, oh, I saw a bit of silver. Yeah, breamy, breamy. Not a bad size. Ready. Oh, oh, there we go. Not too bad at all. There we go. Third nice size bream for myself. Absolutely beautiful fish, aren't they? Spiny as anything. Absolutely stunning colours out on this lovely winter's day. Beautiful. Get a nice photo of them in there. Put that one back. Nice one, Jake. Yes. Feels okay. Probably similar to the other sizes, but I'll look in a minute when it gets to the top. Yeah, he's alright. Not too bad. Not too shabby. There was once upon a time where you'd only get these in the summer in, in, in the UK, but now they're pretty much an all round deer fish. The only time I don't catch these really um, is sort of, generally speaking, January, February, March. Otherwise, you, you'll get them all year round. Beautiful fish. We're in. We're 
in. Uh, I was just taking a photo for Ben. And we're in. These have been donking away for about half a minute. Probably taking out the bite out of them a little bit. Ben was just saying, we were talking about earlier, the bream are really tight in one spot. That's not a bad one. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're not we're not getting them at all. But yeah, that's, that's that's not a bad size at all, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take anything in the winter, but look. Gorgeous fish. Really, really nice. Well, this I thought this might have been a real big one at the beginning. Um, but I'm not so sure it is a massive fish. It's a fish, but maybe not as big as I first thought. Or it was two and one, one might have pinged up early. Not, not shocking, but not that big. Oh, come here. There we go. So just good for sport. We'll put it back for next year. Let it put on a couple of pounds. There yeah, go. there we go. Right. Game on. That's a lot of editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of editing or a lot of shorts to be made. Yeah, still in. Still in. <laughs> I was thinking about handlining a bream, but yeah. instead we had a bit of a tangle to sort out first. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. It's oh, a tiny little one after all that. It's not even big. Dear, oh dear. After all that. <laughs> just a little one. Another bream on. Feels quite nice again. Doesn't feel too small like the others, but I think the problem is when you've got a double shot, they're fighting against each other down there and they sort of knock the hook out of each other sometimes. So where you begin with two, sometimes you do end up with one, but hopefully this will be a little bit bigger than the uh, one previously. Oh no, still small. I think. Not a bad size, you can't complain, but not as big as what we have been having. It's a fish. That's a lovely fish. Right, better fish on here. Um, the reason being, I actually put on a squid head. Um, I just thought maybe it'll pick out the bigger one, and it possibly has. Possibly. Feels and feels bigger. No, in a minute. <laughs> oh, sorry, <Tom. laughs> oh, bream. Oh, that's better. That's better, bream, yeah. So I'm I'll grab it. I've got him, I've got him. Oh, that's better. I don't know what you got of that, um, but I put a squid head on to try and target the bigger ones and it's worked. Right, let's try that again. Just thought it'd be worth showing you. That's what I've been using all morning. Tiny little bit, small finger sized bit of squid. And that is what I just call that big one on whole head and I chopped those up um, when I was preparing for the squid uh, to eat and I put them all in a little Chinese tub you know and, uh, and I thought I'll bring them out for a for bream or something sort of fishing with the head I don't know what it is about them if they've got juice in them but yeah they seem to smash them but we're happy with that let's try and get that one now I didn't get this one on camera but the bait I've just shown you again has brought up possibly the biggest or second biggest fish of the day absolutely nailed it these bream can eat big baits um, so sometimes it's worth just changing up a little bit so I'll put that big big squid head on look at that wicked got a lot of squid heads so I'm gonna give Ben some we're gonna go around again try and get some big ones look at those absolutely stunning colors on those gurners those blues turquoise colors absolutely stunning me and Ben were just saying um, we're going to uh, clip on some lures in a minute and then we might just do a couple of runs over a wreck or two and then we're going to head in otherwise um, we're going to be out here all day and I've got work later and um, Ben's got Avatar <laughs> Ben's got Avatar film to watch.